Good morning, friends. Here I am outside. It's such a beautiful day. I hope you get to go outside today and play lots. But I thought we would change it up and have a little story time outside. But before we start our story time, I wanted to sing a song because I've been missing singing with you so much. And now that we've been talking about animals this whole time, I thought it'd be nice to sing our song, Old MacDonald Had a Farm Again. So, who's this? This is our horse, our friend Horsey, right? What does he say? He says, nay. All right, so we're going to sing our Old MacDonald. I have some friends with me we're going to use. Ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O, with a nay, nay here and a nay, nay there, here and nay, there and nay, everywhere and nay, nay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O, oops, with a ba ba here and a ba ba there, here a ba, there a ba, everybody ba ba. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O, with a oink oink here and an oink oink there, here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and I threw my little dog, and on that farm he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O, with a woof woof here and a woof woof there, here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof woof, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. All right, friends, I wanted to read another story today about animals, specifically on the farm, because we've been talking a lot about that. I hope you had so much fun with Mrs. Hines yesterday. And this is a silly book. It's called Say What? Say What? What do you think this book is about? I see that it says Say What? And it has animals on it. Hmm, I wonder what this book is about. Oh, it looks like this owl, if you look at the, what the illustrator did, he put the owl with a megaphone and a sheep with a megaphone. So who do you think is saying something in this book? If you see they have a megaphone, a megaphone makes something louder. Oh, and it looks like this kitty right here, she's got a cup to listen. So I wonder who's listening and who's saying stuff. Oh, it looks like this little boy right here is listening. So maybe, maybe I'm going to see if the sheep and the animals say something. Let's find out. You can find out a lot about a, a book, as we know, just from looking at the pictures. You can actually make up a story based on the pictures alone. Say What? by Angela Digeretti. How do we know what animals say when they say what they say? in their sounds every day. <gasps> I hear rhyming words. Say and day. Hmm. I wonder what they do are saying about the animals. When a cow says moo, does she mean really who? <gasps> Maybe she's saying who. Ooh, I see something right here. The cows pointing to the sky, and they're looking at the clouds. Let's see if I can find some clouds. Well, I think I see some clouds behind me. Ooh, do you see those clouds way up in the sky? I wonder if you can look to tell me what they are. I wonder what that looks like. It looks like a horse galloping for me. Maybe you can look outside and see what you see. That cow is saying, who is in the sky in the clouds? Who? When a lion says, roar, does he really mean roar? Look, the lion, the baby lion's in the tub and she's roaring. And look, the daddy has some more toys for him. When a horse says, nay, does she really mean hey? The horse 
voices are playing in the hay. Nay and hay, those rhyme. Look, you know how we make snow angels in the, in the snow? They're making hay angels. <laughs> They say what they say in their own silly way when they see what they, when they say what they say with their sounds every day. Say, way, and day all rhyme. When a sheep says, ba, does he really mean ma? Oh, is he saying, hi, ma? When a cat says meow, does she really mean now? Ma, meow, and now. When a duck says quack, does she really mean snack? <gasps> quack and snack. I bet you're having lots of yummy snacks with your moms and your dads and your sisters and your brothers. They say what they say in their own silly way when they say what they say with their sounds every day. Hmm. Do ducks really talk on phones? Hmm. No. And here's the kitty with a cell phone. That's silly. When a bird says tweet, does he really mean sweet? <gasps> Look, a sweet cupcake. Mm, those taste good. Sweet and tweet sound the same. They rhyme. When a when a snake says hiss, does she really mean kiss? Oh, hiss and kiss. Is he asking his mommy for a kiss? I bet you you're getting lots of hugs and kisses these days. When an owl says whoo, does he really mean you? Look, this owl drew a picture of his daddy. Maybe you can do that at home. Can you try to draw pictures of your moms and your dads and your brothers and sisters? Oh, that's a fun activity for you. What animals? What animals say we don't really know? But you know what I say. saying I love you to his mommy. So the, out of this book, we found a lot of fun activities we can do. You can go look in the sky for some clouds and try to guess what they are. You can draw a picture of somebody in your family. So the, the cows did the looking at the clouds and the owl friend. Try to find that picture. Drew a picture of his daddy on the chalkboard. You can do it on paper or chalk. When you look at a book, you don't just listen to the story, but you can look at the illustrations and see if there's fun ideas or how you how you think these characters, these people in the story feel. I hope you enjoyed our story. I have an activity coming up soon. I'll see you soon. Bye.